This is question four of the 2019 higher level Leaving Cert paper. It's made up of two parts. We have part A show that the cosine of two theta is equal to one minus two sine squared theta. And part B, they're asking us to find the angle inside this cube here. So I'll go ahead and start with part A. They're asking us to show that the cosine of two theta is equal to one minus sine squared of theta. We're allowed to use that the cosine of a plus b is in fact equal to the cosine of a um, multiplied by the cosine of b minus the sine of a multiplied by the sine of b. So we, we have proven this identity within our course. You can go back and check that out. I currently don't have a video up about it, but I should soon uh, as I teach through the whole course. So by the time you're watching this video, it might be there. But they give us this in our formula table, so we can go ahead and use it. Um, and we'll notice the fact that cosine of a plus b, we have two theta here. So that is cosine of theta plus theta is equal to the cosine of two theta. I'm going to use that fact. And I'll, I'll use then that that's equal to cosine theta multiplied by cosine theta. Well, that is cosine squared theta minus sine theta multiplied by sine theta, well that's sine squared theta. So I will use the fact that this now is equal to this. So we're getting close to what they asked us, cosine theta is equal to one minus two to the sine squared theta. Now I will, I would point out whenever you're looking at sine thetas and sine squares, I would keep an eye out for the, the identity that um, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. Always be the, on the lookout for that, and that in fact will help us here. This cosine squared theta is only missing a sine squared theta. So let's jump back to this line here. We have cosine two theta is equal to cosine squared theta. I would love if I had plus sine squared theta here, minus, um, minus sine squared theta minus another sine squared theta. Sorry, I wasn't explaining what I was doing there. I would love if there was a plus here. So I've really just gone ahead and added that plus in. I've put a plus sine squared and taken away a sine squared. So I haven't really changed anything. I've added one in and taken it away. Doesn't change anything. But instead of putting these together and getting zero, if I put these two together, I will get one. And if I put these two together, I will get minus two sine squared theta. And that is what they asked us. So you could at the end just write QED, but I'd rather um, to write something like, so cosine two theta is equal to one minus two sine squared theta. Make sure you're writing something at the end. If they ask you to show something, tell them you've, did, you've done it. If they ask you to prove something, tell them you've proven it. Um, I will point out something else as well. In your tables, you're also given this identity to begin with. Cosine of two theta is equal to this. The, the marking scheme seems to imply that that is not enough. You should start at this. I'm not so sure about that. I think if you're giving it in the formula tables, you're allowed to use it. So you could skip this line here and go straight to this one. Okay, I'll rub this out and we'll go to part B. I'll put the question back up on the screen so we can all see it before you see my attempt at drawing it. So once again, they're asking us to find that center angle. Now here I have it up on the screen. <laughs> Apologies, it's not as good as the drawing in the question, but I'll, I'll still go ahead and use it. Um, so we're looking for this angle here. Now, maybe it would help if I name a few things. Let me just name A, B, let's put in C, um, a D would help there, and maybe in the center here, we'll put C as the center. I think that would probably be enough. Well, maybe I will, I'll do this. See if you can tell me what I'm doing here. Um, actually, I don't think I need that point, but I will put this dotted line across from A to D. I'm now gonna look at the triangle if I was looking straight down at A, D, C. A, D and C. So I'm looking straight down to this triangle. Now I'm doing that because I would like to get the length between A and D. 
So that's easy enough to do. A, um, oh, I'll pick a length for everything. Let's, uh, let's go with X, I guess. I was going to put A, but that's a bit confusing. Uh, let's go with X, the length of all the sides. X, X, and the height is X. So A to C is X, C to D is X. So we're just wondering what A to D is. And we just need to know if that's a right angle. This becomes X squared plus X squared, the square root of that. So that's the square root of 2X. The square root of 2X squared is the square root of 2 times X. Okay, so I now have the length here. I would now like to look at the triangle A, D, and B. So A, D, and B. And we're getting close to something we want here. Because this DB passes through the center. We have C up here. We don't, I don't necessarily need it right now. But um, I would like... Oh, where's D? Okay, so, but I'm now getting closer to it. So AD, the length of AD is the square root of 2x. And the length of A to B is x. So the length of this is x squared plus this squared. This is 2x squared. So that becomes 3x squared, or the square root of 3x squared, or the square root of 3x. So now we have the length from B to D. I will now go ahead and draw another triangle. Let's see, I'll go A, B. I think I have everything now. I have C here. So what is the length from B to C? The length from B to C is half of the length from B to D. Now, I, I wouldn't necessarily need to write that out, but I could write that out to help the examiner. I might write something like uh, BC, the length of BC is equal to a half the length of BD. It always helps to tell the examiner what you're thinking. Uh, I would do this all in a, in a line, obviously. Um, I don't necessarily need, I'm not necessarily able to do it on the board. I'd also maybe, I would write something like AC is equal BC. These are the same length, halfway this diagonal, halfway this diagonal, they should be symmetrical. This length should be square root of 3 over 2x as well. And AB is still equal to x. So we, have tr we know three things about a triangle, so we should be able to find everything in that triangle. And we're looking for this angle here. Let's call this angle theta. So I'll go ahead and use the cosine rule, I think, um, if we know three lengths. Now, obviously we don't know the three lengths, some of them are x's, but we're using those three lengths to find this angle. So the cosine rule is, cosine of a is equal to small a squared, a being the angle, and small a being the length of the other side, minus b squared, minus c squared, all divided by minus 2bc. Or, of course, you can change these signs. So it'd be b squared plus c squared minus a squared. So if we're interested in this angle here, we call this one big A, and therefore we're interested in the length across from it is little a. So really this just becomes the cosine of theta is equal to the length across from it is x squared minus one of the side lengths, they're both the same, um, minus square root of 3 squared, that's 3 over 4 x squared, minus this is the same, 3 over 4 x squared, it's all divided by minus 2, um, b and c are the same, we get b times c is 3 on the top, square root of 3 by square root of 3 is 3, 2 by 2 is 4, x by x is x squared. Okay, let's start cleaning some of this up. We'll write this again. Cosine theta is equal to... Um, if you're not very good at dealing with fractions, just throw these in a calculator. You have 1 minus 3 quarters minus 3 quarters. But um, I'd, I'd rather just uh, do it in my head. I'd rather change this to 4 over 4. That's the same as 1. So we'll really get... They're all quarters now. So we'll really get 4 minus 3. That's 1. 1 minus 3, that's minus 2. Minus 2 over 4 x squares. All over the bottom row is minus 6 over 4 x squared. Let's see, the x squares cancel, the minuses cancel, the 4s cancel. So we're just left with 2 over 6, which of course is 1 over 3. That's the answer. They asked us for the cosine of this center angle. 
and it came out as one over three. Now I'm always quite happy when I get an answer um, neat and pretty like that. You tend to, you, you feel more confident you're right. If you get a big mess of an answer, maybe you are right. This is still a higher level paper, but you can feel quite confident you're right there. And it's quite interesting, isn't it? That the, the angle inside there is such a neat number. And it's because everything's so symmetrical in a cube. Okay, thanks for watching. The next video we'll be doing question five. So hopefully you'll come back and join me for that.